Hello friends, today's art journal page inspiration is going to be titled Go For It. So, this is a 12, I think it was what they call it, 12 by 12 or something like that, um, paper, scrapbooking paper. I don't use scrapbooking paper very often, but I was given some. I might buy the little packs sometimes just for embellishments or whatever, but this, anyways, so this is my scrapbooking paper. And, um, yeah, so we're going to go for it. So if you have a printing block or a jelly print, what I mean by, I'm not sure what I mean by printing block is like, okay, one of these stamped blocks here, like this, if you could just add paint to it, I mean, that'll work well as well. So if you have one of those, just use one of those and throw down some colors. I'm going to throw down peacock teal right here you can see of course not so I'm gonna throw this down and I'm gonna throw a uh, antique rose these are just colors I had out um, grab, grab a card as well these are colors I had out so grab a card as well and just do that okay I'm rose um, a yellow and that should be good and I know I'm kind of telling you we use these colors but really just try them out so any kind of green that you like any kind of red that you like any yellow and just put them on your block or on your jelly plate and just kind of do that and go for it I think I said that, that the title of this page is going to be. Just go for it and just start stamping it. It's going to be a little bit messier with a block. It's not going to be as easy as with a jelly pl plate. If, if you have a jelly plate, just do it and have fun with it. You can pick up some of your old paint with the jelly plate and spread it. And do a few more drops. You don't have to do too much either because these are so nice. This is my 3x5 um, jelly plate and it's very handy. So I recommend you guys get one if you're into that. Even if you're into stamping or anything like that, you don't have to use it like the traditional jelly plate way. You can do it just for anything really. So I'm going to take some of the paint off and keep it on my card. and see the designs you get. Throw some metallics. Now any metallic will do. I have a splendid gold, so I'm going to throw that on there. I usually throw that in with my color as well. So pick one or two metallics to go with it. And like I said, if you're using a jelly plate, you could pick up the color and spread it better. I'm, using, I'm wearing my sweater today. It's rainy and I'm cold. A Superman sweater. So if you keep some of the, the colors on your jelly plate, or on your card, I mean, you get to, to, to uh, add more after. So, it doesn't really look, uh, it doesn't spread poorly at all. It spreads really nice. So you could do lots, or you could do just a few. So this is it. So just a few of these. And like I said, you can go over some paint. Pull it up. Now I've got paint on there. This is with the jelly plate. It won't work with the printing block or the um, stamp block. But it will still spread nicely if you play with it. You could even use a silicone pad and wrap it around your block too because silicone pad is not too bad. I used that for a faux jelly plate before I got one. Well, this is the only jelly plate I have, but I'm going to get more. I'm going to get more because I love it. So I'm just going to clean my plate off with some water. Just like that. Finish tidying it up later. Put my plastic back on top. And I'll finish that later. So that's that. Now I'm going to draw this. And that was it. Three 
color, primary colors, and that's it. So, that is it. Now that you got your background, grab some doilies and play with them. So let's see here, I have a pack of doilies. You can have some, I'm talking away from you guys, sorry. You can have some from, um, that I've previously sprayed, which is perfect. Um, you can spray them if you'd like ahead of time as well. And grab a pattern paper for sewing or any kind of tissue, that'd be good. So if you don't have these um, colored, you can color them, um, spray them ahead of time or whatever. So I'm going to move this. My board is really messy um, today because I kind of half cleaned it but didn't finish. So let's see here. I'm going to grab my alcohol sprays and my homemade ones with marker because I want nice light colors. And just do this. Sometimes I use my... Um, I got doubles in here. Sometimes I use them for stencils and I don't throw them away, I keep them. So if I'm using the end for stenciling, oh look, it's gonna, I did not, I kind of should have realized it was doubled up because it was so thick. That's okay. You can keep these pieces, keep them. So if you use them for stenciling, it's a really good idea because, oh my goodness, my orange doesn't want to work. I do that replace my orange. I'm gonna grab a purple and my pink. So I want kind of a light color, that's why I'm choosing these. I got um, more brilliant misters, but I want to do it a little bit light. So now I'm just gonna throw some heat on it to dry them off. And these are gonna be what I'm burnt myself a little bit there. Okay. So this is what I'm adding as a collage, so, um, piece. It's easy, simple, and you just color them any way you want, and you can have them on hand. So then we're just going to not even think about it and rip up some of these uh, papers. So this is a quick and easy step-by-step. Step. So I know I'm doing, I don't usually do step-by-step. Step. I'm usually like, hey, just put something on, whatever, choose whatever. But this is not, I'm telling you to grab this right out of your cupboard right now. If you don't have these, you can use tissue paper with designs on them. But if you don't have sewing um, patterns, grab your Mod Podge, throw it on. Don't think, just do it. If you think you're gonna ruin it, you're gonna ruin the, the happy stuff. Grab some Mod Podge, put it all over. Okay? All over this thing. Or your white glue, watered down white glue, your homemade Mod Podge, whatever you use. Um, it all works really well. It depends on if I can get it or you know, making th things sometimes take a little longer for me, so sometimes I'm like, hmm, I'll buy it, but it doesn't matter, you know, we'll do all all sorts of things here. So anyways, you got it, you grab your pieces, you put them down. Don't worry about which way they are, just put them down. Don't think about it. Just put them down and enjoy that. So now you have some pattern paper on here. You have um, your paint on first, your pattern paper. So we're kind of doing like the quick version of the steps of actually what Shannon did on the journal number by five. But you guys can apply it to a quick and fun without. Oh, and don't forget to add your hair. <laughs> Your DNA is really important to your art. Anyways, anything on the edge, just flip over. It's okay. So this is what we got. Now add more. Ah, this paper is thin, but it's okay. Add your doilies. 
No, I'm just, I'm telling you what to grab. Like I said, do I, if they're gonna rip, if they rip, that's fine. Mine were a little still damp. Uh, English, please. Still were a little damp. And so. So, it's okay though. It's just background stuff. Cause look at this one here. This one here is, um, oh, there's a piece right there. This one here is, uh, torn because I was doubled up, but that's okay. So I hope you guys are not thinking because it's very vital that you don't think. Do not think. Seriously. It should be easy. It, um, <laughs> for some reason. Oh, that would mean. Um, it's easy for me. <laughs> okay. Uh, da, da, da. Did I say that? You know what I mean. I mean, I didn't mean like in a bad way. All right. I'm gonna throw half, maybe of one more, or maybe one whole one doesn't matter. I don't know. Like I will throw one more right here and get it all over the place. And then. I might throw the other half in this corner over here. And I could cut the red the rest off. Whatever, right? And drown your project in glue. You must you don't have to do that. That's, that's my sarcasm there. Cause I do it. I drown my project in glue. Okay, done. Done deal. Throw that in, close it, dry it. Let's go move on. Let's dry this puppy. This part is very important. We're going to grab a stencil. I would like you to grab a stencil if you have one of uh, maybe a background or of lettering. So I'm just going to grab this one because it's right here and I just use it for my journal by five. So uh, grab a stencil. It would be a nice background one, or like I said, like something with lettering. Grab one of your favorite stamps. So here's a stamp right here of a tree. I'm gonna grab that just because. Or flowers. See, I even have two. I cheated, but no. You can grab as many as you want, but this is just. I'm making this easy, easy peasy. So grab a stencil. Grab your primary colors if you do have them in your misters or any kind of um, sprays you guys have. Um, grab the colors kind of similar to what you had. So um, um, like a yellow, blue, and red. So I'm going to grab that. Am I? Yes, I am. So just grab that and throw some of that in there. Very random. So those are the colors you used for your, that I asked you to use for your beginning parts here. Grab your roller or use your hand or whatever to flip it and make sure you use that side as well. It doesn't matter if it goes on top of itself and Oh, keep your caps off <laughs> while you're using them. Okay, so so used to putting everything away. Okay, so that is the next step of what you're gonna do for your journal page. Now you got covered everywhere. If you've got your whole page covered, that's perfect. Move on. We're gonna dry this this layer and then you're going to stamp at least one image you don't have to do it over and over again on here but you're going to stamp at least one of your images on it quite dry so I'm going to grab my stamp I'm going to grab my arch archival ink and like I said I know I'm being kind of hmm, what you call it, bossy this time I'm telling you like stamp this do this but this is just so then you don't think I'm thinking for you does that make sense now just stamp it anywhere you could do it once or you could do it everywhere it's up to you that but don't think about it just do it okay because if you think about it you're ruining the whole process So. 
So once that is done, you're good to go for this. Now this is what it's looking like. Yours is going to be similar probably because I'm asking you to do the same sort of colors or whatever. But that's okay. This is good. No thinking. Now, make sure it's all dry. <laughs> this is done. Now you can go through and grab something you want to put on a page. Don't even worry if it's going to match or anything. Just look at something, go for your stuff, and find an image that you like from a calendar. You know, cut it out. I didn't even think about these are ones I was using for making um, beads. So, grab a magazine cut out. Sorry, guys, I'll have to fix that so I have to torture through that. of anything, an image of uh, uh, an item, uh, it could be a person. An image of anything you wish. And then have the words. That's the only thing you really kind of, I guess, got to think about a little bit because you got to find an image. Because, I mean, if you had some if you had some already cut, you could just pick one. So you pick an image, post it on, paste it on, and probably the only thing you need to really think about is what you want to put with it. So grab your gelatos or your watercolor crayons or something like that and start doodling on your page. Something that's going to slide really easy, your oil pastels, something like that. It's really fun to use. So I'm going to use my watercolors and kind of go with around here. You can use your markers and all that kind of stuff to doodle on it as well. But first of all, just try to get some fun, easy, slidey material like oil pastels or gelatos. I find them a little fun, more fun and unpredictable and how sometimes they're gonna like go on these things so I like that so just kind of scribble on it and doodle like that once you got your image on there and just go for it and have fun with it then you can use your watercolor brush, your finger, whatever to move the... It's not precise. This one's not precise. Just add a few colors. And there you go. You're done. So, then you can write your words, um, or you can stamp your words, um... Let's see here, I'm just going to write it out. See how that works. I haven't written in these yet, so let's see how that works. And... Grab a brush, get some water on it. It might work, it might not. But if you stamp it out or cut it on paper and do your normal, you know, stamping on paper. That's kind of where I was going with that one. And then, you can add a little moisture to your gelatos to move it or your, whatever you decide to use. If it was, if you did baby oil, then you should move it with your, I mean, um, baby oil. <laughs> I, um, oil pastels. And you can move it with your fingers. And there you go.
Don't care if it you got too much lick, you know, water on it's dripping. Just be very not caring because you're getting you no know, you're gonna be amazed with what your your mind or your heart kind of comes out with. Throwing it together really frees your you know, your kind of your artsy artsy stuff, right? So it kind of makes you able to just relax and be free with it. Dry it. Kids are running around like crazy. Journal page today that I'm hoping you guys will try out. Um, now that you guys are done up to this point, you can just doodle all you want and enjoy the things you love about doodling and that kind of stuff. And, and have your free page. It's kind of like just a let loose page. So that's what really what art journaling is about. Is not just making the oh the you know thinking about your layouts so much as to just letting free. So then your art is so free flowing that still uh, free flowing that um, when you are on a project, it just kind of flows from there. You know, so it's like practicing something. Well, your practice is on the, the, the art journal. I think, oh, my painters are dry. I'm having an issue. But I have all of these dry stuff. is all dry here. But that's why I was like, now you got your doodle part, and you could just play and doodle with whatever. So I have my metallic golds, uh, metallic blues, and these kind of poster paints. You guys can play with whatever kind of things you want. Because now it's done, you're just adding your final little touches maybe here and there. And it's no right, there's no wrong. It's not, it's just free flowing from basically everything I just told you to do. Right? So. Mixing as many different things too. If you have your gelatos, that's the one thing I wanted you to try. If you got something wet and creamy, you can try it with uh, whatever. And then trying something else is just, you know, seeing how it mixes together with the sprays or whatever and the color, how it looks. That's the whole point. And there we go. I am done. So, I hope you guys liked this journal. And it was. 30 minutes, but that's between the drawing time and all that kind of stuff here and my chatting and looking for stuff because <laughs> I couldn't find a. I just ripped that out. You guys see me just rip that out of the magazine, so. You can color and watercolor over. Now that you have everything done, you can just kind of play with with the, the subject and kind of just, you know, add or whatever. I also like adding stickers and that kind of thing, so that's really cool. So, there, I am doing. Grab these watercolors from, um, that I got a while ago from, um, Target when it was here in Canada. There we go. So play with it and have fun, and I hope you guys like this quick um, art journaling page that was just like basically free. Now you guys, like I said, go for it, play doodle now because we're done. Um, you can just do whatever feels comfy to you. I'm looking around to see what else I want to do. Everything's kind of a mess over here. I know you guys probably can't imagine that. Imagine being a mess. But it is. But now, like I said, you can stencil, do whatever, like, you know, um, ink up things. Yeah, this is really crazy. I have everything a mess. Oh, there it is, underneath the paper. Sorry, guys. So I have my little spots here. I got my happy mail. And I'm just gonna do that quickly on on here. But 
And now, like I said, this is the kind of play part. And you can just add like that. And you can add sticker letters or whatever. Have fun with it, guys. Don't think too much.